have you ever been hungry? And if you have been hungry, then you know what it feels like. Uh, but when you need help, you need help. You've got kids that need to eat. You, you need to make sure it's possible for them to eat. I believe that we can do better, that people shouldn't have to be homeless. To be able to see somebody who is looking very, very down and out and desperate standing in line and know that they're here and we're helping them, I can't begin to tell you how good that feels. United Food Bank collects, distributes food to agencies in five Arizona counties. What we do is we work with about 240, 245 agencies in that service area to provide food for them so that they in turn can provide food to individuals. Last year we did about 11 and a half million pounds of food out of here with about 22 employees. We couldn't function if it wasn't for the volunteers we have. Last year our volunteers pretty much doubled our workforce, so we really, really need them. And, and where we need their help is, uh, right now, we need them to hold food drives. And if you want to hold a food drive, you can call us, and our phone number is 480-926-4897. You're going to want to uh, press extension 213 and ask for Melissa. If you go to unitedfoodbank.org, um, you will be able to see all our needs, you'll be able to see all our programs, and you'll be able to donate online too if you would like to. Um, and if you need to volunteer, there's a list of volunteer opportunities that we have on there kind of describing what might fit what you would like to do. And then give Deanna a call and she will um, get you set up. Well, Tempe Salvation Army has been around for well over 40 years and we've been serving the community in many ways, one of which is through food baskets and uh, homeless uh, snack bags and we do many other things as well. I would say we have almost twice as many people this last month come in for assistance and they're not just homeless people. There are people, some, a lot of them live right next door to you and you just don't know it. Um, it's very private when they come in to get the help, and we try to keep it that way so that, you know, there's not shame involved. They'll come in, they, they're looking for food and for assistance with their housing. I mean, it's affected all ranges of, of lifestyle. You know, this is your community. This, this is, you know, we all live here, we all have to exist here, and when there's one person suffering, there should be, we, we should be stepping up to help them. Help someone now, you may be the person needing help next time. Just give us a call. We have a volunteer application that you can fill out. You put down on there what you're interested in doing. We give you a, a myriad of choices and you let us know what you're interested in helping and how you can help and then we call you and let you know when, when that's available and then if you're able to come down at that time, then great. If you don't have the time, we always accept cash donations, food donations, and uh, whatever you have. It's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a big corporation that knows how to use the things that you donate and, and make it work for the community. Today's event is called Project Homeless Connect. The goal of the day is to bring together as many services as we can in one place to provide immediate services to homeless individuals and families. We don't give out referrals, we don't make appointments, it all happens today. And so we've got shelters here, we have social security, we've got haircuts. Everything you can think of is here today. And it's a myth that people only need help at, at the holiday time, but yeah, the, the shelters, other service providers, they need donations and volunteers every day of the year. There are lots of um, opportunities for people to volunteer here in Tempe. At this event, which we hold quarterly, we need at least 100 volunteers, but we also need volunteers to staff a, a donation room. We need volunteers to help serve lunch the day that we do this. Just come visit, see what's going on, and, and you can decide then if you want to get involved. And 
We accept volunteers for an hour if that's what they have to give on, on a day like this. Whatever somebody's comfortable with, we're comfortable with. I arrived here as a volunteer for the first event and just stuck around because I had the time and ability to, to do this job and I just have an empathy for doing it. And it's become the best volunteer job I've ever done. I'm thrilled to be a part of, a, of making change that's positive for everyone. We, we love people, we treat people where they're at, and I think that uh, people will benefit greatly from being involved with the Salvation Army. Just the feeling I get, you know, even a bad day is a good day. Um, knowing that when you left here that you did something that was able to help somebody who's been down and out. The attitude of being willing to do this, being willing to reach out to somebody who doesn't have as much as you might have and find out that they, they're human too. Best part of my job? Well, I'm saved to serve. That's what the S's stand for. And basically, it's uh, getting to work with people and help them. It's feeling of satisfaction. I mean, it can't be beat. You can't put a price on that. That's fantastic. <laughs>